Hey guys, welcome back to Bite Sized Experiments. Uh, we're going to be doing some experiments with these rocket sleds uh, for several videos, I think. Certainly Newton, Second and Third Laws, um, and a few other things. We may take them and do some cool uh, collabs with some other YouTubers. So I wanted to show you a little bit how to build them. Um, they're pretty easy and they're really cool. You can actually do some cool stuff with them. So this is the first one that I built. Um, see, it's got uh, roller blade wheels on the bottom of it. So it's really just a sheet of plywood, uh, some two by threes, and then all the gear for the to put the roller blade wheels on, uh, which I'll show you a little bit later. Um, but for now, I just need to cut another top exactly the same size as this one. Uh, this one is 18 inches by about 27 inches. And I would have made it a little bit longer at least, um, but I actually need it to fit in a suitcase because we're going to take them to VidCon for some collabs we're going to do. And so we have this huge rolling suitcase and this fits perfectly inside of it. So that's how I cut it. I probably would have made it, you know, maybe 30 inches, um, you know, gone a few more inches. And you'll see why. Once I get the, the second one built, we'll play around on a little bit and show you what it looks like. But you can kind of sit on it and uh, put some sandbags and throw sandbags to show Newton's third law. And you can push off of each other and do a bunch of things. So having room for an adult to sit on it and do some other things, uh, maybe 30 inches would be better. But this is going to fit in the suitcase. So all I'm going to do is uh, use this as a template to cut. Use the one I already made as a template to cut the plywood for the, uh, the second one. And make sure it's exactly the same size because you need them to be exactly the same mass. Because you want the mass of the thing riding on it to determine the, the, the acceleration and you don't want the mass to be different between the two sleds. So I'm just going to use the, this as a template, cut it to, to plywoods out and uh, I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so I got these one by threes. Uh, like I said, these are the rails that the wheels are gonna mount on. And to make sure that they're exactly the same size as the top, uh, once I've got the saw set up to cut the top, I just cut these real quick using the same fence settings. So I'm gonna cut these real quick. Okay, so these are the rails. Uh, they're exactly the same length. They work pretty good. The saw is fantastic. You should probably wear eye protection, which I didn't do, but <laughs> it's probably a good idea to wear eye protection. Um, and you know, if, yeah, do, do be safe if you know how to use one of these tools. If you don't know how to use it, uh, have someone help you who does know how to use one of these things. Yeah. Uh, so, All right, so for the uh, axle holes, I do a half inch uh, off the side. So, and then just kind of space them out. I, I put these a couple of inches in from the ends so that they're not right at the ends. And then these are just evenly spaced between them. Um, but then go in one half inch and drill your holes. So I'm gonna mark that real quick and then drill them with a drill press and go from there. four drilled some people I've seen use eight they'll put eight wheels on each side to spread the uh, you know the force out even more across the wheels that's really just a matter of cost um, you know the wheels and the bearings and all that kind of stuff is one of the most expensive things of building this so if you want to buy that many wheels and bearings that's fine uh, we tested it out pretty good with four wheels on each side and it seems to work great so I'll keep playing around with it if I feel like I need to add four more or a couple more I will um, but for right now, I feel like that works pretty well. And actually, since I'm, I'm building two and I wanted them to be exactly the same, I bought new wheels and bearings off of Amazon. But the one that I built first to test around with, I just went to like a used sporting goods store here in town and bought like a relatively cheap pair of roller, used roller blades and just took the wheels and bearings off of them and built it just to test it out and it worked fantastic. But again, since I want the two that I'm building to be identical, I bought all new parts for it, but you can certainly get away with spending, you know, I think I spent 20 bucks on that pair of roller blades and just took the wheels and bearings off of them. So now all I gotta do is drill the other, uh, you know, support just exactly like this, put them in the same place, make sure they're spaced the same, uh, and then we'll get this stuff uh, attached to the board. Now what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna attach these uh, to the platform and all you gotta do here, like make sure that the, the holes are on the bottom. Like you don't want to attach it where the holes are up here. Or the wheels won't attach and turn and everything. Will be, there, yeah, it won't work. So this is just judgment. You just want to line it up so it's kind of perfectly aligned front and back and on the side. Now, I just got a little uh, pilot hole to drill and you want to countersink these uh, screws that you put in top so that they're not sticking up. If people are going to be riding on these, uh, you want it to be pretty clean. So I only put three. And 
And then now, Cooper, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these screws in. You wanna help me? Uh huh. I wanna drill. Okay. Let me drill. That one's ready to go. It's a little slow. <laughs> you give it a little more juice. Squeeze harder. There you go. Okay. Stop. Stop. Yeah. Look at that, Cooper. Perfect. Good job. Give me one more. That one. Went Don't get carried away. <laughs> okay, awesome. So that's attached. I'm just gonna do exactly the same thing on the other side. And then the platform's built, and I just gotta wait for the wheels to come in, and when the wheels come in, we'll loop back and uh, show you the rest of that. It's but there is, right, one second. There's one more thing that we need to do tonight, and I'll show you that, and we're gonna play around with the one that we built before. But for now, I'm just gonna attach the other rail the same way. Cooper, you gonna help me again? Yes, Okay. Okay, so I got wheels and bearings, so now we're ready to finish the sleds. Um, so I got uh, Red's Bones bearings just because I used to like them. That's what I used to use when I was playing like rotor hockey and stuff. It doesn't really matter what you get. And I got 80 millimeter wheels, which again doesn't really matter too much uh, what you put on these. Um, yeah, just get good roller blade wheels and bearings. And I got these off of Amazon. And then depending on which. Uh, bearings you get and which wheels you get you'll need different sized uh, bolts uh, for these i think i got eight millimeter bolts uh, that fit with what i got but you'll definitely just take your uh, wheels put your wheels and bearings and spacers together and take them to the hardware store with you um, and then you can kind of fit it and make sure that uh, the, the sizing works and so now all we're going to do is slide the bolts through and then one trick you definitely need is some tiny washers uh, when I bought my bearings kits, I got them with uh, spacers and washers. And so you get these really small washers that kind of sit along the inner race here. Um, and that gives you some good spacing. So when I put it on, uh, I'll put the bolt through from the outside and then put this small washer on, put the wheel on, put a nut on. Uh, and I'm also going to use some uh, thread lock to keep them from coming apart. You can use locking bolts if you want to, but I just use a little thread lock just to hold it all together. And then once that's done, uh, we should have uh, everything put together and ready to go. And ready to so, use. So. That's all put together. So I just do the other one exactly the same way. If you want to, uh, like I'm doing, you'll see, uh, we'll have posted a video here probably in the next couple of days that shows a bunch of the experiments that you can do. There'll be a link to it here uh, and in the doobly-doo when, it whenever it gets posted. Um, but uh, yeah, so we'll show you some of the things you can do. But I just, I couldn't find a good resource for how to build these. I saw a lot of them online and, and saw people using them, but didn't find a good resource for how to build them. So I wanted to put something out there that showed people exactly how to build them, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And so now once you've got it, uh, you just want to test it out, make sure all the wheels turn well, make sure it slides really good. Mm -hmm. And then we'll show you some of the cool things you can do with it here in a few days. Yeah? Yeah. Awesome. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.